So is Act Trader still worth it in 2024? Now, I'm actually going to do this video and keep it 100% transparent. Um, this is actually going to be a complete series of multiple videos of different trading platforms, even different brokers utilizing different trading platforms. You know, coming into the Forex industry now, for those that's coming into new or, free, or if you are new or if you've been established in the game for a bit, of course, you understand the change of everything as far as how Metacoast was a thing now. They're no longer utilizing a lot of these brokers that can trade in the Forex side. Also talking about a little bit on why everybody is transitioning over to something else. But that is the beginning of this series. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. So there are three solid things that I look for in any trading platform. And those three things are basically going to be how, who, and what. Within that, you guys will know everything about if this is actually something you want to use what's unique about it and how can you use this if you're using a broker like Hango Trade to trade Act Trader. So let's go ahead and first start off with how. So first and foremost, how is this trading platform accessible to a trader? Well, it starts off with really your broker. And for one, we're going to actually talk about Hango Trade as Hango Trade is a well-established broker in the Forex industry. And previously they did use medicals, but they transitioned over to Act Trader. So if you register through Hanko Trade and sign up through Hanko Trade, you're able to actually use Act Trader, which is their web version and also their mobile version to take trades and so forth. So once you have, uh, if you have an account or if you sign up through them, like I say, you do get access to the trading web platform and also even on your mobile phone if you want to trade on a mobile phone which is huge to me you also have access to that so first thing is let's talk about the user experience because i think that is the most important thing for any trading platform right when i'm trading i want little to zero latency when i press a buy button two i want to make sure everything is user friendly meaning i don't have to press 10 different buttons or going to 10 different tabs just to get access to one particular thing. I will say pro for sure is I do see they're using trading view as their initial track as their initial trading chart, which basically tells me that the user friendly for the tools that I need to use, like the Fibonacci, the trend lines and so forth are pretty simple to get access to. As you see, it's all down here. I know previously I actually did a video on all of the different trading platforms and what trading platform can work for you. And this was completely different. And now I see that they upgraded a lot within that time that I made that previous video. So just seeing that I already have access to everything, like I said, this is trading view. So I kind of understand how to utilize the, I guess, experience the interface within that that basically shows me everything here now another cool thing that i see but not even cool but a thing that i really look for is i need to be able to see all of my favorites or just all of my assets that i'm looking to trade for me as a trader i always say focus on three pairs because when you focus on too many you tend to lose focus you tend to not pay attention to the little details before you get in the trade or even while you're in a trade. So I always like to say it's important to master three. So as long as I have access to my top three, then we're all set. So seeing that they already have like a default list here, you can create your new watch list. Let's just say I type in solo top three. I create my list and then within this list, I can easily add all of my three top assets which for me is nasdaq us oil and us 30 and also smp is really like four but those are pretty much like my top that i look at and also i'm getting into something called platinum so basically the moral of the story is i have access to all of that here which is good another thing that i also like to see is time frames i have to be able to transition over to different time frames literally in a split second so obviously they're using trading view that that's a big big pro in my eyes i can easily come here i can easily look at a 1 5 15 30 minute one hour and so forth and i can favor all of these as well and pretty much be all set now i kind of want to talk about the most important thing when you actually take a trade 
when you actually take a trade i am more so and i'm just going to take a small trade because i don't want to let's say uh this is an account that i don't want to spend too much money on but we're just going to basically take a buy i believe let me make sure we, before we take a buy but i really want to just take a, a, a sell that's what we're going to do we're going to sell this asset which is nasdaq right so when i hit sell as you see you have your market your sell stop and your sell limit right so of course i can easily go ahead and just hit market execution or i can do a limit order or i can do a a, a, a sell stop order right so that's good to know. I'm not actually not going to take a sale, but that's good to know. And then also you can add your stop loss and TP as well, which I think that's, of course, something that's needed. I do like how they have trailing stop loss, which is actually pretty cool. Um, so that's really cool to see. Right. So now that we understand the I guess we can understand the user experience and what they have to offer. There's a lot more in here that they do offer, but I kind of want to just talk about the main factors because that's really the most important to me. I always say now I want to get into talking about today's sponsors, Black Forth Exchange Network. Black Forth Exchange is a layer one EVM core blockchain that has implemented its proprietary POSA, which is basically proof of stake authority and the algorithm. Their primary strategy is to focus in central around and also development and also delivery for innovative products and the service and also for the community. Their approach is designed to generate significant utility for their native layer one token, which is BXN which they have over 1 million transitions up to date and over 100k active wallets addressed it plus 6 million blocks produced successfully now all this information that i am breaking down if you're unaware you can actually check it out on this website with this link here and you can pretty much see all of the different blocks produced and everything that i just talked about as well here but not only that, the BXN token within the Black Forth ecosystem has both on-chain and off-chain utilities. On-chain BXN is used for transaction processing, decentralized voting, and enabling the community engagements through smart contracts for security and transparency. Now, off-chain, it supports mobile wallets, payment solutions, and tokenizations of assets. The ecosystem emphasizes a balanced distribute throughout the BXN to ensure a stable and decentralized environment, making BXN a virtual utility token across various services and platforms within Black Forth ecosystem. Now, like I said earlier, the fact is there are over 1 million and 100K of transactions to date an additional over 100k active wallet addresses plus an additional 6 million block produced successfully and all of this information as mentioned earlier you can literally see at the explore.blackfort.network and you can get all this information there so if you guys are looking to invest and elevate your coins you can do so by visiting the website and purchasing it today as well let's go ahead and get right back to the video i don't care what trading platform i'm using as long as it's the first moment that i step into this uh, i guess trading platform and look at this trading platform i need to be able to see my buy my sell button my exit positions all positions my indicators and then my pairs or assets that i'm trading and if i can see all of that and i can see my pending orders my account history and all of that within the same screen where it's not too much going on it's all what matters at the end of the day and then two like i said latency is another thing um, i was going to take a trade but i already know that previously with hango trade working with them the latency isn't that bad um there's so the latency between the trading platform and the broker that's a big thing to me and just seeing that that is still accurate we're still good on that end now who this trading platform can be i guess for is pretty much any forex trader that's looking to trade cfds it's looking to trade indices um it is not a futures trading platform at least not as yet meaning that uh any futures brokers is using at trader and which is not a bad thing at all right but if you are still tied into the forex and the beauty of forex is you can as a swing trader you can hold trades over the weekend you can even hold trades to the next day and to the next day unfortunately in futures you're not able to do that so you have to be 100 percent scalping for that entire day or entry day you have to get in during new york and by 4 30 you have to be out the trades 
especially if you trade in a prop firm um, they also have more strict rules into that as well so there's always pros and cons between forex and futures you just have to pick which one works for you so i will say that we have to get into the what because i also talked about that and what makes this trading platform unique is they do offer a mobile version i'm actually going to show you the mobile version now and one thing about this version web and mobile is it's pretty simple to use so as you guys see right now you see my current balance it shows my margins it shows my free margins it shows my p l i see we had to have a calendar which is also very important for me because if i can see all of my news within the same trading platform that's perfect like trading view they usually have it there's usually a screen in the bottom of the trading charts or not a screen but they have icons in the bottom of the trading charts where you usually see the times and you can usually see the news there but seeing that we have the news here which is cool in my opinion that's dope but the most important thing that i care for is the efficiency i guess you could say the user experience overall like i said this is trading view so seeing that i can easily sell or buy so if i hit sell and then i wanted to do a sell on actual you <laughs> we're going to do your usd right place to sell as you see i'm currently in the sell executed the sell pretty quickly and basically that's really what it is so i'm gonna actually go ahead and close this just to see how fast that is so as you see close order it brought me to another page let's see the price right now is at 0 0.09 but it's saying 0 0.01 sell so let's see what happens so we close that let's go to our history we see it closed at 0 0.08 okay so that part isn't that accurate i guess what it does is just screenshots where it was that at the time that you had hit the button which isn't a problem at all but really like i said guys with medicals i know a lot of us love medicals because obviously we were possibly brought on to medical and it's kind of like your very first trading platform and now you have to use something else and you're so stuck doing and I, maybe you can be, you know uh, it could be a lot of reasons on why you're doing it but at the end of the day i'm looking for simplicity in a trading platform and seeing that act trader does have that as of now because I, like i said previously um, when it was working on act trader and developing it when that whole transition happened i know a lot was going on at the time so i feel like it's cool to do a video now and still talk about it because we can really see what is going on now like i said this is the mobile version however this is not a full app meaning i can go into the app store and download it so that will be the only con that i will say is that you don't really necessarily have the app you still have to use the web browser just to get to it which I, of course i'll do another video probably in like six months they might have it available and update y'all on that but like i said just the fact that it is still pretty actually really accurate with everything switching over with everything and just seeing that the app version or really the mobile version looks like it is its own app that's really cool along and then you have the web version and i think that is cool as well so that being said that is pretty much my review on act trader especially with hanko trade since i guess hanko trade is really the big broker that is using act trader right now and that's really what it is so if you guys want more content make sure you subscribe and comment down below and then also if you want access to my bot which is basically for futures and indices we have students already passing i'm actually working on this on my futures prop firm account right now make sure you check that link down below tradewithsolo.com you get access to that as well and if you still want to trade prop firms get that link down below with funder pro also if you want to get into the futures get that link down below with date trade days and then you can also sign up through them as well other than that your boy solo i'll see you guys in my next video peace